this little somersault, and then he's gonna attack with his power fists. That Golbat is going down. <laughs> he's like jumps straight through him too. Like straight through the soul and steals it. everyone and thank you for stopping by. I hope that you all are doing well today. I am Yo-Yo Y2K for Crapfire Gamers and today I am playing Pokemon Sun. So at least for the beginning of the video I want to play around with my Marshadu. I just picked him up the other day and I actually haven't tested him out yet. I just want to play around with him, just see what he can do, see what he's all about. If you haven't gotten your Marshadu yet, you still have until the 23rd of October uh, 2017 to pick up your Marshadu from GameStop. So make sure you get over there, pick up your Marshadow if you haven't already. And actually, on the 23rd, or starting on the 23rd, GameStop will also have a card for a shiny Silvalli. So make sure you pick that up as well. So like I said, just going to play around with Marshadow. And after that, maybe we'll do some battles or see what we can get into. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you want to see more videos from us, you can check out some of the links in the description below. You can also head over to our channel page, check out some videos there. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that, let's test out Marshadow here. At least, let's take a look at him real quick. We'll do a little refresh on him and... Oh, he's so cute! Oh, he's so adorable! <laughs> Oh man, one of the cutest legendaries ever, right? Look at this. Let's see. Oh, oh, he's so adorable. Just eats it like a. Just put his hands up there and he just eats it. It's cool. Let's see, but he doesn't like. Oh no, he doesn't like that. Oh, <laughs> poor little guy. All right. So, oh, wrong button. Let's just do a quick little battle here or two with him. I went ahead and I changed out a few of his moves. Just, I don't know, just because. Um, I actually have him with, let's see, I switched out and I got him, uh, Rock Tomb and F Thief. He had, um, Close Combat before instead of Rock Tomb and he had, uh, Shadow Ball instead of Thief. So I switched those out just because I wanted a little more coverage and with the Technician ability, both of those moves, Rock Tomb and Thief will get doubled. So I thought that's pretty cool and I thought I might give that a try. For right now, I actually have the Marshadium, 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 Marshadium. I have the Marshadium Z on him right now just to see what the Z moves look like. But after that, maybe we can take that off and use Thief just so we can steal some items. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So I came in here Specifically, just so I could run into some Dug Trio and some Golbat. Get a few EVs and maybe speed and attack. Thought maybe speed and attack would be good for this guy. He seems to have a decent speed and his attack's pretty decent. Mine doesn't have the best EV coverage. IV coverage. Doesn't have the best IV coverage because he has like... Oh, he's so cute. Look at that. Did you see that? He has like... Increase special attack and decrease speed, but I feel like you want him to have speed and attack mainly. I don't know, maybe you can run him with special attack too, or instead. So let's try the Z move and see what it looks like. Soul stealing seven star strike. Of course, it uses quick guard. It's not gonna matter. He's so adorable though, I really do like him. Or her. It. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's really cool. That's pretty cool, I like that. That's neat. Awesome. So let's keep playing around with him. 
So also, as you have noticed by now, I am using the camera up there, a little face camera, a little face cam action. I don't know, let me know what you think. Whether or not I use it or continue to use it or maybe incorporate it in more videos is totally dependent on the feedback I get from you guys. If you like it, maybe I'll start including it in more videos, but we'll see, I don't know. Just thought I'd give it a try. I haven't done it before, thought it might be a little change of pace, a little something different. So we'll see what you guys think. It's pretty cool. Venoshock. And you can use a rock tomb. It's not gonna matter, Golbat. You going down. Boom. <laughs> Also, just to get a little more engagement from you guys, let me know down in the comments, what are your guys' favorite Pokemon? I think I've said before, probably on multiple occasions, that my personal favorite is Gyarados. I've always loved Gyarados. I have used Gyarados for as long as I can remember. I love the power of Gyarados. I love the way it looks. Like I think it's one of the coolest looking design Pokemon. Just always. I love its ferocity and everything. So it's just... Everything about it, I like it, it's cool. So let me know, what do you guys think? What's your favorite Pokemon? Why do you like that Pokemon? Uh, also, are you guys planning on playing Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? Do you have them pre-ordered yet? I don't have them pre-ordered, but I'm definitely gonna get them. Probably get like Ultra Sun. Or oh, actually I have Ultra Sun, I have Moon. I can't even talk. I have Sun here. So maybe I'll get Ultra Moon. I don't know, we'll see. So let me know, you guys gonna play Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? Do you have them pre-ordered? And also, what are your favorite Pokemon? I'm curious, because there's so many Pokemon now. I don't even know. How many are there? Like 700 and something? Uh, let's, uh... I think it's pretty much everything. Let's see the Z-Move one more time, and then we'll switch it up. It's pretty cool. I like the Z-Move. It looks pretty neat. This little somersault, and then he's gonna attack with his power fists. That Golbat is going down. <laughs> he's like jumps straight through him too. Like straight through the soul and steals it. <laughs> that Golbat is like, ah! Cool. All right, so I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna pause the video, transition to some battles, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Welcome back guys. So just started up the battle tree. Just gonna do a few battles, try to get some battle points. I actually have used up pretty much all my battle points, so I need to get some more. I wanna buy some more mega stones, but I don't have any points, so <laughs> gotta get some BP points. I just brought along my Tentacruel and my uh, Gudra in the lead, and I have Sea King and um, Tepu Koko in the rear. So I don't know if you've seen this combo or not. It's one of my favorite things to do. Use Rain Dance with Gudra, and then with my uh, Tentacruel. You see, we got a Marowak and a Tyrantrum. We use Aqua Ring with Neptune. Let's see here, probably gonna get a Ground Attack from one of these guys. Probably gonna do some serious damage to Tentacruel. Hopefully, we can survive. Stealth Rock. So he's setting up. Marowak is going to do what? Smackdown. So not really too much. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. I was a little more concerned. I thought that we were going to get some ground damage taken to Neptune. And so that's my that's my Tentacruel. He's got Rangish, and he's got Black Sludge, and he's got Aqua Ring. So it's lots and lots and lots of self heals. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then Gudra being hydration ability with the rain, he can use rest, go to sleep, heal up, and then wake up at the end of the turn. And it's just like he used recover. So it's pretty sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and Dragon Pulse the Tyrantrum, and then let's do a Giga Drain on the Marowak. Let's see what we can get done here. Hopefully get some major damage. 
It's not that much, actually. <laughs> oh, and red card. Oh. But Taku Koko's out. Um. That sucks because the terrain now we can't go to sleep with Gudra. Boom! <laughs> nice. Nice. One hit. Hmm. Ooh, another dragon. I don't have any berries, Haxorus, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, let's go with. Dragon Pulse. Actually, eh, you know what? I think I think I'm actually going to Dragon Pulse into the Marowak and then do a Dazzling Gleam. Because I think the Dazzling Gleam will be enough to get rid of the Haxorus. Yeah. And then the Dragon Pulse should be able to take out the Marowak. I hope so. Come on. Nice. Nice. And we got a Heracross coming in. What you got, Heracross? Uh, maybe... Thunder. It doesn't gleam. Oh, that's all she wrote. Guys and Gleam was enough. Alright, so yeah, I kinda... And that's not the best situation whenever Tepu Koko gets drag, dragged out, and then we can't use Rest with Gudra. So that kinda sucks, but... On to the next battle. Let's see what we can do now. I really do love the Gudra and Tentacruel combination. I love that synergy with the rain. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. A Drift Blim and a Buffalon. So, I'm gonna go Rain Dance. And... Off a ring. I'm kind of scared of what that Buffalon's going to do. I figured Drift Balloon was would try to get bulky. Buffalon's probably going to use a ground attack. Like I don't know, maybe Earthquake. Cause he's alongside a Flying type, right? So, oh, Scary Face. Shoot! I was worried. I don't know why I was worried. <laughs> All right, so I'll use Thunder on to the Drift Glim, and then I guess I'll hit Buffalon with a Sludge Bomb. Yeah, I did like nothing. So let's see if we can hit through. Oh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we got just a little bit of health <laughs> on Gudra. Uh, yeah, we need to use rest, but Buffalon outspeeds Gudra. I think we're just gonna have to. I think we're gonna lose Gudra here. Mm, I think we're gonna lose Gudra. Come on, critical hit! <sighs> Taunt pass. Okay, so he's set up for who? <laughs> 
<laughs> Gudra versus Gudra. But my Gudra's going down. Go Tapu Coco. Alright, so we're gonna definitely gonna go with a dazzling gleam. That should hurt that Gudra a lot and hopefully get rid of the Bouffalant. Gudra is going to have stat increases from the Baton Pass, from the Drift Blend. Alright, I'm going to take a risk here. I think that the the Dazzling Gleam should take out Bufalon, and Gudra might still have a little left in it, so let's hit it with the Sludge Bomb and see if I guess right. I guessed right. Alright, that did like nothing to the Gudra, even though it was super effective. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who we targeted with the Sludge Bomb because it was going to hit Gudra anyway. A substitute. Okay. Well, let's go with a Discharge. And let's go with Protect. Drift Blim is down. Do we get rid of the substitute? That's the question. No, we didn't. Oh, man. And we got a Sylveon coming out. Well, let's go. Dazzling Gleam, I guess? Dazzling Gleam and Sludge Bomb. For a minute, I entertained hitting Sylveon with a Taunt, but maybe we're better off trying to do damage. Get rid of the Substitute. Sludge Bomb does how much to Sylveon? Not nearly enough. Sylveon's bulky, man. Oh, poison! Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Look at that. Sludge Wave coming in. Oh, man. Tapu Coco's down. At least their Sylveon is severely injured. Misty Terrain. Okay. Leftovers. Oh, no. It's a... Okay. So Neptune is back up to full health because of the amazing healing abilities of Tentacruel. Alright, so Sylveon is severely damaged. We've got our Sea King coming out now. So what can we do? An Ice Beam onto Gudra, I think, is a good call. And maybe even a Sludge Bomb onto Gudra. Just double team it. Yeah, because I didn't figure Sylveon would really give us much difficulties at the moment. Or give us many difficulties. Come on. So Sylveon's down. So we didn't have to worry about Sylveon because he took she took her own Pokemon out for us. Ice Beam. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Dang Baton Pass, man. Golly, that Gudra is super bulky. <laughs> Alright, well, Neptune is doing well, so that's great. Uh, this just another Ice Beam. We've gotta wear it down eventually, right? Sludge Bomb's gonna do more damage. We'll get a Poison. Can we even get a poison with the Misty Terrain? Ice Beam. This should do it, though. This has got to be it, though. This is down. Yeah! Woo! All right. Great stuff. 
Ooh. Not too bad. Got a little hairy there at times, but we managed to pull through. Uh, no, I'm gonna take a break. Alright guys, that's all the time that I have for today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the face cam. Do I keep it? Do I put it in more videos? What do you guys think? It's kind of neat, I guess. A little different, so just let me know. Also, don't forget to answer my questions from the beginning of the video. What are your favorite Pokemon? Do you plan on playing Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Do you have them pre-ordered yet? So, yeah, I guess that's it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos from us, you can check out some of the links in the description below, right down there. And if you want to see more videos still, there's always videos on the channel page. You can check those out. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.